Okay, welcome back. This is part 5 of E Lecture 4 and this is the most difficult of all because we need to determine the bending moment diagram of this plane and uh, you realize that the force given are even. Uh, look carefully, this is 4 kN and that is 6 kN and the dimensions are given all over the place uh, and the support is over here not over the end, over here so basically the whole beam is truncated first we draw the free body diagram then we put the force down here another force here reaction force here and over here let's name the force accordingly um, if it is called A, we we'll call this RA and that is RD and that is 4 and we have 6 here so now basically we go back to your year 1 mechanics where you are going to find all the forces huh? so we have to define the orientation let's say this is X and that is Y so I say submission force in the Y direction equal to 0 because it's not moving it's an equilibrium all the forces in the y direction equal to 0 <laughs> so going up I got W R A then minus 4 is going down so minus 6 and this is going up plus R D equal to 0 the submission of force y direction is these 4 forces uh, in the y direction there's no forces in the x direction uh. So from here, I get my first equation, Ra plus Rd is equal to this, minus 4, minus 6, minus 10, over the other side, I got 10. Then the other part is that the moment, taking moment about A, so I say summation moment at A is equal to 0. This time we don't break the bin in the middle and find the moment like that. Uh. That is to find the moment inside the bin uh, using Newton's third law. This case now I'm saying taking moment from here, clockwise moment equal to counterclockwise moment. Uh. So from if I'm taking this point here, this point here. So the clockwise moment I will have <laughs> 4 by 15. 15 is from here. Then plus 6 oh this system is complicated I need this system so this system will be 80 subtract 30 yeah? equal to counterclockwise moment will be this one RD here RD times this system here to here so this system will be 80 subtract 20 So simplified it here, I got 60 plus this one, I combine it, I have 300. Combine this, I have 60 RD. From here, I will find that RD is equal to 6 kilo Newton. Now this is equation 1. This is 2. So I substitute 2 into 1. Uh. So I will have Ra plus Rd now will be 6 equal to 10. And Ra is equal to 4. Now uh, at this moment, I can find the bending moment. I can do the bending moment diagram because I can find moment at B. Yeah? Let's say I say moment at B. Moment at B will be the force will be RA times 15. And moment at C will be RD times this is the no? 30 minus 20. This time I'm using Newton's third law. Like what I did was we actually cover we actually cover the end uh. that means we must learn how to visualize this uh. from here 
I cover all the way to here and find the moment at this point. So this will be RA times 15. Similarly, I go to the other side. I want to find the moment at, at C. Yeah? Moment at C, I will take RD times the distance. Imagine you cut away the beam at where C is to find the moment inside the beam. Nah? So that's what I get. And uh, from here, I can. I already know what's R A, so I say M B. Moment at B will be R A, which is four by fifteen. That will give me sixty kilo newton centimeter. Lah. the units are in centimeter. That M C. Moment at C will be R D, which is six by thirty minus twenty. Again, it is 60 kilo newton centimeter. So if I were to draw my bending moment diagram now, uh, I will draw a line. And there are four forces. Huh? At the end is zero. Then uh, there's one distance here and one distance here. So at the end is zero, so let me mark down the point here. This is zero. Zero. So now over this side, is it positive or negative? Huh? The force is going up. So this beam is going to bend like that. Smiling face, positive. So therefore, I will have one point here. MB. Huh? Which is 60 kilo newton centimeter and mc same also uh. for this problem happen to be the same uh. so i will join the points the end point will go towards zero And again, we will shape the bending moment diagram, the area there. And that brings me to the end of E lecture four. E lecture four. I'll see you in the next E lecture. Thank you. Bye and have a nice day.